My name is Nondu Miso Kokela and I am the founder and owner of Imibongo Gamakulu Handmade Dolls. So the name Imibongo Gamakulu is actually my daughter's second name. It was given to her by her paternal grandmother. Uh, I loved the meaning behind the name and so I thought it was important to kind of immortalize it, especially because my daughter is the main inspiration and the reason why I ever had the idea to begin with. So Imibongo Gamakulu means grandmother's praises or thankfulness and she gave her that name to express her gratitude for her family ex expanding. So the idea I initially got when I was pregnant with my, my first child, um, my daughter, and at the time I remember looking for something for her that would be soft and cuddly that she could kind of grow up with and have an attachment and a bond with. It was important for me that if my child was going to play with a doll, that first of all she understands that she is important. So to give her a doll that looks nothing like, like her, I imagined would give her a lot of questions or comparisons where she would notice that the doll is white, it's got blue eyes, it's got soft hair that you can brush and all these other things. So she can't relate to it at all in terms of who she is. And I wanted to start instilling values in her from an early age that her being brown, her having an afro hair texture, all of that is normal. Um, it's likeable and it's lovable because she loves her own, her very own doll in the same way and treats it with respect and with love and she acknowledges and sees herself in it. In terms of my client base, it's been a pleasant surprise to find that it's it's not just black and brown parents that are buying dolls for, for their children, but also white parents too. And that can be from your, your white parent with their biological children or with an adopted child. And it's been really amazing to see that um, they've been like big supporters also of the brand and that they're learning about mindful parenting and the importance of a child having or seeing themselves represented in the toy space and with the things that they play with. My daughter, when I first gave her the her, her doll, she was I think one and a half. So the first thing that she did was she hugged it and then she dragged it around the house, which I thought was precious. And I thought if a reaction like that, if I could get a reaction like that from a lot of other kids, that would be amazing because that's my main aim. Um, so it's been really heartwarming to get pictures from, from parents or stories from parents about how they're doing with their dolls or the fact that they want to come and get more because their child loves the one doll so much and they want to play more because they're getting a bit older as well. So I get a lot of those kinds of stories. Um, or parents that just want to um, replace a doll because now they've got a new one or the other one is constantly used all the time and it gets dirty so they need to like um, have them in rotation almost. Um, so I love that out of, out of the experience and that's the kind of uh, customer feedbacks that kind of affirms the choice and affirms the concept behind the business and what I'd, I'd envisioned for it.